people say, oh, Alzheimer's is genetic garbage. That genetic component is only 5%. So that means 95% of Alzheimer's risk is environmental. Air pollution, microplastics, ultra-processed food. And a paper just came out showing that sweetener consumption correlates with dementia. And we think we know why. And you've not talked about this publicly yet. No, let's talk. 73% of the items in the American grocery store are poisoned because sugar is hidden in all the foods. For instance, there's 262 names for sugar and the food industry uses all of them because they knew when they add it, you buy more. But the problem is that it's providing people with a dopamine hit and that dopamine is addictive. And that's when you actually have a biochemical and medical problem. And we have data to show that ultra processed food has been associated with dementia, diabetes, cancer, every single mental health disease. So the question is, how can you buy health? food and not be tempted by the bad stuff. So first, if a food has a label, it's a warning label. Second thing, if any food has a sugar in the first three ingredients, it's dessert. And then when they go to the store, don't go hungry. And what about exercise? Well, it doesn't really impact your desire to reach for sugar. It has its own metabolic benefits. But if you think exercise is going to make you lose weight, you are deluded. And we've been talking about that. So with all of this in mind, if I've got a sugar problem or if I've got an addiction problem, what is the remedy? So this is one of the things I did in my obesity clinic. So the only way you're going to be able to fix the problem 